Visor down. Here's your gloves. Go and throw those on. I'll talk to you in just a second. After burner. Woo! Awesome. Nose will steering. 100 knots for tires. 120 for brakes. Rotate. Airborne. Gears coming up. Leveling off. Altitude. Gear is Altitude. up. Lights are out. There's 280. 300. 350. Wow. 400 nose coming up. Everyone passing 2,000 for 1, 4,000. Wow, so amazing. T-Bird 8, I'll end the departure rate. I kind of claim the approach request. How high are you going? Roger, T-Bird 8's got you weak and barely readable. Say again, please. T-Bird 8, I'll end the departure claim via approach request. How high are you going? T-Bird 8, uh, requesting up to 5 and a route to the uh, airspace just to the north. T-Bird 8, presuming navigation northbound claim via approach request. T-Bird 8, and requesting a switch to Cape Control at this time. All right, so we are in the airspace. Great. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to turn just a gentle turn 90 degrees left. And then for our G-turns, we'll go 90 right and then 180 left. Okay. You see all the uh, Apollo launch pads down here as well. Sure. Pretty cool. Okay, so we're going to go 90 right for the G turn. We'll go four to five Gs. Are you yep. ready for some G turns? I'm ready. Okay. To the right. Here comes the G. There's three, four, and five. <coughs> Rolling out. All right, that was 5.3. How do you feel? Feel good. All right. So what we'll do here is we'll go 180 left, 5 to 7G. Copy. You ready? Ready. Okay, to the left. Here comes the G. There's four, there's five, and there's six. Don't forget to breathe. <coughs> okay, we're rolling out. How do you feel? Feel good. All right, initial breath there took a while to get get out there, so make sure you start breathing when I breathe. Yeah, but yeah, other than that, early. Other than that, it sounded pretty good. How do you feel? I feel good. I feel good. Good. Good, good. All right, that was 6.1G. For now, we have gas in the tank, so we can't do our high G stuff yet. So what we'll do is start off with some aerobatics. Are you ready? I'm ready. Awesome. I'm going to set myself up here for the clover loop. Turn around to the north here just so we have more room to work with. Got to get a little lower so we don't go too high during our loop. Oh, 
Wow. Rolling out. All right. You ready for the clover loop? I'm ready. Okay, I'm going to level off here, push the power up a little bit. First four and third knot smoke is on. Nose is coming up. Right on into four G's. So there's three and a half. Almost four. There we go. Into the float. Easing off the G a little bit. Watch the stick. Wow. On top. 14,160, left turn. I see the smoke. There it is, yep. And back in with the pull. <laughs> what do you think of the clover loop? That was awesome. Awesome. Let's turn to the north. We'll set up for our loop. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to set up this loop so we're upside down, looking right down at the space center here. Sounds great. Okay, power set. Smoke is on. Nose is coming up. Right on into 4G. There's three. A little bit more. Three and a half. Into the float. Easing off the G. Uh, on top, 150180. There's the space center. Oh, wow. There's our smoke trail. Back in with the pull. Right through our smoke trail now. Wow. What do you think? That was great. Awesome. There is the loop. Loving it. Sweet. Turning left, we'll head back down toward the south. We'll set up for the barrel roll. Smoke is on. Nose is coming up. Only about a 2G pull here. Okay. So not a lot of G. Just 20 rolling left and rolling into the float. Wow. Back in with the pull. Smoke off now. Turn in left. Let's go look at our smoke trail. All right. There it is. All right, there's 450. Are you ready? I'm ready. We're going to go to the left. Okay. Here left. comes the G. <laughs> Rolling out. 8.5. Wow. What do you think? That was great. Awesome. Loving it. Great work. Any issues, light loss or fuzzy vision or anything? I got a little fuzzy, but it came right back on the back, coming out of the back. I was all right, though. Nice. Nice way to bear down on the strain and get it back. Good work. Very good. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. We are ready to do some solo maneuvering. Awesome. So go ahead and double-check your lap belt for me. Okay, ready? Ready and both sides? Go ahead and get the arms up on those towel racks there. Got them on the towel rack? Perfect. All right, we're going to do the four-point roll. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, power is set. Nose is coming up. And here we go. One, two, three, four. Loving it. Awesome. You like that? I did. All right, let's do the eight point then. What do you say? I'm all in. All right, here we go. Nose is coming up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. A little bit over on the last one. All right, are you ready for the knife edge? I'm ready. Okay, here we go. Nose is coming up and rolling left. Setting the knife edge. Zero G right there. Wow. What do you think? I love it. Love it, love it, love it. 
impressive. That's the knife edge. Now imagine doing that at 200 feet. Wow. Crazy, right? It is. All right, roll it out. Awesome. Yeah. All right, so we're going to do the inverted flat pass. Are you ready? I'm ready. We're going to do this one right over the Space Center. Okay, here we go. Nose is coming up and rolling. Set it. See the Space Center? I do. That's awesome. There's negative one G for you right there. Wow. Seatbelt's working good. Good. All right, we're going to roll on out. Wow. What do you think? That was amazing. You like that? Yeah, I did. So, if you liked that, I say we do the inverted to inverted pass. What do you say? I like it. I like it. Let's do it. We're going to do a vertical reposition here. So, what I'm doing here is trading airspeed for altitude. I'm leaving my power alone. And we turn left. If you look down at the ground, you can see we're really not traveling that far over the ground right now. Right. We're just kind of using the altitude to turn us in the vertical plane. Wow. We'll come back down here. We'll go right back over the Space Center. All right, there. All right, you still good? I'm good, yeah. Okay. Here we go. Okay. There's negative one G right over the space center. What do you think? Awesome. Okay, we're going to roll. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, here we go. Rolling. Back to inverted flight. Love it. And there goes the space center. Awesome. We're rolling out. Wow. That was awesome. All right, well, I think we are ready to do some vertical rolls. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do what's called a combat descent. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, here we go. Okay, we're going to get going a little faster here. In just a little bit, we're going to pull straight up and go vertical. How about that? Okay. All right, there's 0.85 Mach. 0.9 Mach. All right, you ready? I'm ready. Big G pull, here we go. All right. Nose coming up. <laughs> Easing off the G and rolling. Wow. Stopping the roll and pulling. Rolling out. Okay. We'll take a second and collect our senses. All right. How you feeling? I feel pretty good. I might take a little O2. You got it. You go ahead and do that. I'm going to make a nice, easy left-hand turn here. We started down there by the runway. You can see the path level with the ground and then pull straight up. So we climbed up about, uh, let's see, not quite three miles, but about two and a half miles straight up there. Okay. In a very short amount of time. Okay, going to level off right here. Are you ready for the aileron roll? I'm ready. All right, so we're going to pull the nose up. And here we go, rolling left. That's cool. Sweet. I like that. Yeah, tumble your gyros at all, or you still good? Um, you mean my my head? Yep. I'm good, I'm good. Would you like to try a couple in a row? Yeah, yeah. All right, we're going to do two here. I'll turn off to the uh, west here. We'll do I don't think I'm going to yak. That's where I'm starting to enjoy this more. I'm not fighting the yakking feeling. Oh, that's good. I don't want to get overconfident, but so far, so good. Pull the nose up. Here we go. You ready? I'm ready. All right, here we go. And rolling. There's one, wow. two, that a little bit good. over on the finish there. Nice. Hey, Bird, uh, if you would just contact Patrick Tower, 133.75. 133.75, you ready to you. Patrick Tower, T-Bird 8. T-Bird 8, Patrick Tower. Tower, T-Bird 8 is 10 to the north, request initial runway 2. T-Bird 8, report initial runway 2. T-Bird 8. Confirm 2,000 feet, right break. 
affirmative. Did you break copy off page, sir? Chamber 2, Chamber 8. We are 5 out, code 11. 5 out, code 11. Awesome. There's Patrick off to the right. See it up there? I see it, yeah, well. Team Brunette, you going to stay in the pattern, sir? Tower Team Brunette will make it a full stop. Team Brunette, roger in. Uh, check wheels down. Runway uh, 2, wind 080 at 7. All right. So this is called coming up initial. Okay. We're doing a uh, decelerating turn here. We roll out, we'll put our gear down. Cubby. I'm watching your HUD. So, do you switch to ILS or you come in uh, straight? Nope, we're just going in uh, just a normal approach. Okay. Smoke is off. Gear is down, lights off. Three greens. Boards are out. Three greens is always a good thing. You got speed brakes on? Yep. It's really based. You're stopping with you. So that thing looks like a staple in the HUD there. That's my angle of attack or my AOA. Flat of basically a 10 to 11 AOA in the All final right. turn here. Wow. That's cool. The goal is to roll out with the two and a half degree pitch ladder, flight path marker, and that staple. A little bit off today. Gotta keep it coming down. There we go. Oh, I see the staple. Yeah, okay. Pedal down three green boards. Up pushes are good. Good to land. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you, Dan. Wow. service and reserve component of the Air Force and all 40,000 40, or so uh, at any point that are deployed in contingency operations so uh, think like over in the desert that kind of stuff uh, so it's our pleasure to have you out here sir uh, thank you for coming out and flying with us uh, it was my pleasure to take you out and show you what the F-16 can do and uh, everybody here you know doing the hard work putting the uh, the jet in the air getting everything ready uh, AFE here helping me out this morning getting you all fit thank for you. the gear PA taking photos without each thank person on the team we couldn't do what we do every week uh, on the road. So thank you for coming out and taking time out of your schedule to make this happen. Team, thanks for getting everything going for us this morning. The jet was absolutely perfect and the weather was awesome. 
All right, so we got out of here with a great unrestricted climb up to 14,000 feet, and then only had to go seven miles to the north to find the airspace. So we were looking down on Titusville from the airspace. We could see Patrick, you could see well out into the ocean. It was a great view. Uh, hardly a cloud in the sky out there, just a couple wispies out there, a little bit of a haze layer around 12,000 or so, but great view, great visibility, and we did all the aerobatics that uh, we do during the show. So uh, we started off with our G-turns, so testing the jet, testing ourselves, everything was working great, so we did our, uh, our uh, high G-turn there, a good 8.5 G pull for him. So eight and a half times the force of gravity is what you were feeling crushing you awesome. down in the seat there. He loved it, but didn't <laughs> want to do any more. But that's fine, it was good, it was a good G pull, then we moved on to the aerobatics. Uh, we did our clover loop, loop barrel roll, and then we moved on to the solo profile uh, with the four point roll. He loved it, so we did the eight point roll. We did the knife fetch, which he thought was really cool, that zero G feeling. And then uh, I think he said the most one, the one that cut you off the guard the most was probably the, uh, the inverted flat, yeah, that yeah. negative one G push or so. <laughs> so I uh, got a good appreciation for what the negative G feels like with that blood going to your ears. Not super comfortable, right? So uh, it was going everywhere. I was so excited. <laughs> <laughs> it was great, though. Good, uh, good time. We also did the inverted to inverted uh, pass as yeah. well, and then did, did some sightseeing down there with all the Apollo launch pads. Really cool area to go fly around. Flew past the Kennedy Space Center a few times, uh, low altitude, maybe upside down once or twice as well, and uh, it was a lot of fun. So, sir, thank you for letting me show you around. Thank you. Uh, with what the jet can do, uh, it's our pleasure to have you out here and uh, and show you what our team does on a daily oh, basis. Wow. And we've got a little certificate here for you. Uh, so let it be known that David Sirak, on the 22nd day of March 2013, flew with the United States Air Force Thunderbirds and Lockheed Martin F-16, signed by me. You can take that home with you. All right, I'll take it for now. All right, we'll get that back to you here in a second. Sir, if you want to say anything to the guys and gals, the floor is yours. All right. Hey, thank you guys very much. This was uh, something that means a lot to me. I, I really uh, do have a lot of respect for everything that you guys do for us every day. And to be able to, to fly in and the product that you take so much care every day and represent our country is, is amazing. And so for me to get a, an experience like this today, I, I can't thank you guys enough. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. You guys are awesome. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, thank you.